Hey wizard, so around a year ago, I took you through my own objective approach to valuing cryptocurrencies intrinsically. Are they underpriced or overpriced based on what I call the Metcalf factor of that cryptocurrency? So we looked at the daily active addresses, worked out the network effect on that, looked at the circulating supply to get an intrinsic value, multiplied that by a price and that gave us the valuation. Now I'll link to the video here that I did in the description as well in case you want a much deeper dive on that. But just note that some folks said, hey, this is actually really interesting and others said this is completely flawed. So I'm only giving you my view of the world here, the way I'm looking at things may be terrible for you, might not work for you, but then again, you might also take something away from it. So I thought it was worth doing this video. Now, back then we actually saw that Solana was priced at $13. This is back in January. And the valuation that we had come up with was about $29. And in fact, the actual valuation was double that because I take a 50% margin of safety. So if I walk you through that quickly, we come up with a valuation. Back then it was $59, but I like to take a 50% margin of safety. What if I'm wildly wrong? Then this is the price that I would be happy to get in at. And it was literally less than half of that number. So to me, Solana was a bit of a no-brainer at the time. And I think a lot of people back then were saying the same thing. So I'd like to give you an updated version of this now. And I'd like to give it to you with the thought of Solana because Solana has been a big part of what I've been tracking now for a long time. And I wanna compare it to what else I'm building on at the moment. And I have done some building on Solana before. So this is a application I showed you in the past where I did a proof of concept of Solana for peer-to-peer -peer trading algorithm. And in fact, I'll link to all the code as well for those of you who are coders. This is all just written in raw rust, no abstractions, no big libraries or whatever, just raw code working here to get that all fully working. So I'll link that for you and also this video in case you're interested to how that tech all worked back then. So this update is really truly first and foremost from a developer's point of view. And with that said, let's get into the update. So the newest version of this is basically telling me based on my own methodology here that everything that I've got up on the screen here is overvalued except for Solana, <laughs> which is kind of not what I was expecting. I was thinking, wow, the price of Solana has really shot up. So I've actually sold off some of my Solana and I've moved that money into different tokens. And this is not what this channel is about. I don't like to hype up which tokens to buy. But this was a surprise to me because I thought, wow, Solana has shot up a lot. Surely a lot of this is just overhype. But based on this methodology, if I looked at the daily active addresses, it actually shows that Solana is still undervalued. Now what I'd like to do is actually criticize that point that I've just made to show you how the sort of developer in me wakes up and goes, hang on a second, something doesn't feel right here. So when I look at this, I can see the active addresses for Solana are around 981,000. But if I zoom out to all time, we can see that it's been much higher in the past. And it's been much higher in the past when price has gone absolutely berserk. So this tells me a couple things. Number one, the number of active addresses can go a lot higher. It has done in the past, but the problem is this has been led by price, not value, not intrinsic value. And so the problem I have with this is any big pump in valuation here could be short lived and the number of daily active addresses could die down very quickly. And I think this just comes back to overall intrinsic value of what does this network offer? I've always been a big believer that Solana would be perfect for trading. And I still believe one of the best use cases, actually the best use case for cryptocurrency is in actual trading. I'm surprised we don't have more synthetic assets to trade and more assets linked to stocks to trade and that markets haven't just moved completely to the blockchain for settlement for trading. Like this is my own personal view and belief now coming through. So to me, this was a big no brainer, but is that what's happening with Solana right now? I wish it was, but I think what's really happening is excellent promotion and a lot of hype going into Solana, which is great. People are making a lot of money, but if I was to go into putting more money into Solana right now, what I'd be looking for is how soon can I exit? Because it feels like it's not coming from a stable place. It feels to me like it's coming from a pump place. Now, why do I say that? What I noticed was the developer experience to actually publish this to the mainnet was terrible. It was really costly 
and it was a bit clunky. Maybe it's improved now since then. Probably it has. But the price of Solana was like $150 at one point. And to actually go and deploy smart contracts as an indie developer, right? I'm somebody who wants to go out and build stuff that doesn't exist. That's what I like doing with my time. In fact, I actually ended up uploading this on DevNet, which has now obviously changed. So what I uploaded has changed and it's no longer working like it was before. But I never published it to mainnet because for me personally, the cost was too high. I didn't want to go investing my time into building a test application onto a mainnet that was actually costing me a lot of money to deploy. It just didn't feel right for me. And so with that said, what I've actually been working with at the moment is Sui. So I'm not gonna take you through the code here, but I've just been learning more and more around how objects work with Sui, working through you know, their explainer videos, their documentation to really understand how does Sui work. And the reason why I like Sui, I'll tell you why I like Sui. And I'm not saying it's better than Solana. I'm saying as a developer, I'm more interested in it right now than Solana. The reason I like Sui is the tech is obviously very good and they're going for a pure object approach. So on Sui, everything is an NFT, even the actual cryptocurrencies that you could mint on Sui. So you could come up with a token and everything's an object. So in a way, everything is an NFT and objects can own other objects really, really easily. It's a very strong, very dynamic model. And as somebody who loves programming in Rust, learning Move didn't take any learning. I mean, it was literally a smooth transition straight away. So that is fantastic. I love Solana as well. It uses an accounts-based model, which is in a way kind of similar, like everything is an address, everything is an account. Sui operates with this object model. And as I'm going through it, I'm starting to realize, like, I don't think people have quite clocked on yet that using Sui, we can build applications we couldn't build before. The composability is already there. And so I'm a big fan as a developer of Sui and I'm wanting to build more on it. Anatoly himself has complimented on the team and what they've done with the Move programming language. And Anatoly is somebody who I deeply admire and respect in the space, Anatoly from Solana. Now, when I look at Sui from a valuation point of view, and I bought Sui at its price when it came out, and I've bought it when it's now been at its lowest point as well. And the main reason I bought it is because I know I want to develop with it. So I wanted some Sui funds in case the price appreciated a lot because you never know what's going to happen. And I bought more because I want to develop and I want to deploy things on Sui. In fact, one of the things I'm looking to make is a game because I thought it would be quite fun. I like the idea of game I think it's quite a fun thing and it teaches me a lot. And when I look at Sui, I go, okay, the reason why Sui is, you know, double its discounted value right now in price is because it really has no daily active addresses. Is it possible that that will change? I think so. I think if we build some really good applications and it's cheap enough to actually deploy those on chain and people use those applications, and that's a big if, I know that's a big if in this space. I've been here since 2017, so I hear you going, Sean, that's just not how things really work. That's how we talk, but it's not how it actually works. I hear you, but I'm a developer. I want to build stuff and I want to build stuff that's cool and that works really well and works really fast and doesn't cost me a ton of my own money every time I want to go and deploy something, especially to test it in a live environment. I've not deployed anything on Sui yet, but this is what I'm working towards. But in terms of technology and where I think the best and most differentiating crypto is, for me, it's on Sui. That's why I'm spending my time on it. Until the next one, take care and talk soon.